Fitty Gang, what is good? Um, just wanted to touch on something real quick and uh, super important if you are a Bahamian and traveling to the US. A lot of persons know this, but a lot of persons don't. And the reason why I know because I didn't know this until uh, I picked up on it, right? So if you travel to the US and you're using your Bahamian bank like RBC, Scotia, you know, these different stuff, what's gonna happen is when you're purchasing stuff with your card, you're gonna get so much different fees on your card that is unnecessary. Now, you may have a baller saying, man, those fees don't matter, X, Y, and Z, but why do you have to pay, why, why do you wanna pay the bank, you know, all those fees when you're already paying the money for holding your money, right? It's crazy. But um, listen to this, right? These are some things I want you to take into consideration. When you're coming over, make sure you bring your, I, I have my notes out for you all. I want you all to open up a bank account, right? Now, the easiest ones to do it with is um, Bank of America, Wells Fargo. Bank of America be the top one for a bohemian, right? And the documents you need is a passport along with an NIB or driver's license, uh, a proof of address, and you just need an address where they can ship your stuff to, right? So if you're staying at an Airbnb, make sure you're staying there minimum 14 days. Minimum 14 days. And make sure you go to the bank on your first or your second day to make sure you get your card while you're there, right? If you're at a hotel, same thing, 14 days, 14 days, because they're going to ship your card to and it takes about 7 to 10 days. Then what you want to do is if you're staying at a hotel, make sure you let the front desk know you have a, a package coming to your room. That is super important super important you make sure you have that card coming to your room and um you know when you get in a bank the things you want to say right because a lot of you may say oh i already know what i got to do my boy did that x y and z but listen i have a lot of friends and a lot of people well i don't have a lot of friends but a lot of people that went to the bank and tried to do their thing and say damn this bank would let me open it up wouldn't let me open because you're not saying the right thing to them my boy tried to do it on his own three times right when i gave him the script to say it's real simple listen it doesn't take a lot of brains but um, when I gave him the script to say, he actually got it. And he has now an account with Wells Fargo, Bank of America, Chase. And right now I'm actually inside uh, US Bank, opening up an account with them. Um, how can I flip this? Show you all, I'm not capping. Uh, okay. Um, how does this do again? Oops, sorry. Uh, give me a second. Here we go. As you can see, so you know, you just want to follow these steps I'm giving you. Um, okay, it says no face detected, so I'm using my DJI Osmo. This is perfect. Um, but uh, sorry, let me start this recording. Check this. let them know you want to open up a checking not savings checking account and that you're a foreign investor that just needs a bank to put their money into while in the US right and that's the main thing once you say that you're good um, they ask you if you have an EIN SSN you know give them your driver's license or NIV number super important super important that you do that so I'm just trying to guide my camera over here we go All right, this is lit this is really lit now, um, a next major thing you want to do, right, is uh, make sure, sorry, make sure if you're using a friend address to get your card, that you're comfortable with this friend getting emails that your bank send you, right? And another major thing that you want to pay attention to when you're over here is that a lot of fraud happens. A lot of fraud, most of the cards are getting. Check this.